Hello everyone, welcome back to Bulgaria, where we are fighting the Byzantines. And by fighting, I mean destroying. Finally. It's about time this happened. Yeah, we will marry this attractive girl who... Okay, got pretty good traits. I like it. And we're going to move the armies forward. Eventually. We are going to be capped at a certain percentage, but we do want to siege this land down. It's going to be additional help for us. And then we only have to do one military engagement, and we're good. Okay, the defense pact against me has been disbanded, which means that we can get after them soon. Okay, we're at 53. It really does feel good to be taken to these uh, Byzantines, finally. Maybe we'll go siege down their capital, which is now in Greece. I kind of would have preferred to take this coastal, coastal province, but that wasn't under... Acquisition. Acquisition. Um, let's see. Let's get in there. I don't really need to expose people's scandals. It doesn't do much good for me. 65. I don't really want to... I'm going to do it. I changed my mind so quickly there. Okay, so 88. So this little double army there moves forward. Okay. We surrender. Accept. Wow, we beat the Byzantines. Do we have enough prestige to fight them again? Because I would be interested. Okay, we can stand down the armies. Let's keep the hired army. I think we're going to be okay with doing that. Now, if I talk to you again... We could suffer that prestige hit. Sergov, we could take that. I mean, those are going to be easier to pick off over time. Is there anything we can do... It's more connected to the coast here. Tana, Smira, Sepra. I don't recognize any of this. Kuban. Take that. Cherson. Amalfi. That would be okay. Okay, no. So we could do, and I think we will do, this. Because that's more valuable territory than the other ones up north. And I'm not going to raise the rest of this, because they're in other wars as well. So we do take a prestige hit there. I'm okay with it. Taking it to the Byzantines and claiming some of this territory is wonderful. It's got an influx of money. So you are still fighting all those wars, so I feel pretty safe here. Let's actually raise our troops here. Get them to go up as well. We'll get these guys over there. Because you're headed north. And we need to get out of here. They do have 30,000 strong walking around. 21,000. Maybe I let this go down a little bit before I raise them again. Because we should be able to siege it down by ourselves there. I don't mind keeping this mercenary company around because they complement my retinues pretty well. 
And if we could take this location here, I would love that, because it's got a, uh, a trade node there, a trade post. And trade posts are great. Once this army joins up, we're going to quick siege this, because I want to have it under our control. Okay, so that gives us an automatic 50%. Then maybe we can go burn down their trade post to affect their income a bit. So we should start get ticking war score here. And they surrendered fairly quickly last time. So that would be nice. We won't have to look at this ugliness anymore. It'll just be our land. Mm, don't need to be lustful. Chaste is fine. Our inheritance is guaranteed. A marriage proposition? That seems a bit weird. But we can live with it. So let's combine, split. Okay, that one's not going anywhere, so we'll take them over there. We'll just siege some of their northern lands. I show the Morovia is no concern. Okay, so that's now part of our empire. Du jour, which is nice. Yeah, let's split these guys up so we don't get that nasty attrition. Levy reinforcement, that's good. So you can go take this. It's a pretty strong castle. But we'll just siege it down. Trade route for 200. That's good. We want to make chain, maintain all the trade routes we can. So we're at 81. They may want peace here. They're still fighting. Who's this in favor of? in favor of the Caliph, which is good for me. Yeah, how about you go there? Okay, so did the Irish guy die? What happened with that? No. They just really like this guy. I don't. I'd rather have the Irish guy do it. We're like old now. That's dangerous. I don't want to go through all that again. Okay, but the Theresian king will really like me because I'm pressing his claim. Let's send him a gift as well. So he should vote in my direction here. Ideally. So we're at 99. I think we can go take out that army. So let's link these back up. If we take that army out, that should be it. Maybe they'll surrender outright here. Yes. Okay, so that'll increase his opinion of me by 50. Which
which should mean that he likes me enough to vote for my guy. Right? I mean, surely. We pressed his claim. He wants to be on the council, but he's not good at anything. There's no reason to do so. 7.3, that's not too bad. Duchy of Croatia. Is this the Duchy of Croatia? Okay, so maybe that was the Ducal claim. They had the Duchy claim, but didn't. I don't know, honestly. It's a bit confusing. So let's get this guy at least there. And we'll stand these troops down. I think I can get rid of the hired army as well. The retinue can get way larger now. So let's make that happen. And let's meet back up there. So eight more, that's pretty significant. But we do need to deal with this inheritance. Um, how can I kill you? And who are you? You're just a kinsman? Why do they want you? You're Bulgarian? I mean, I guess I could vote for you. But are you available in this nomination? You are. And obviously you are in this one. You are pretty diplomatic. Did you go? He's just not even in this list anymore? So you get Kingdom of Bulgaria. Or no, Empire of Bulgaria. It's so confusing sometimes. This inheritance is bugged. Maybe it's not bugged. Maybe I'm an idiot doesn't really make a difference. I still want this guy, honestly. It's because you're ambitious? some of the ducal claims that were there before, which is nice. Now we can look at it a little more clean. How old are we? We're 50? That's getting dangerous. And why are people voting for you? It's probably because you're so diplomatic. Um, King of Teresia, Duke, Viceroy... I mean, they could be mad that I had their vassal levies raised. This guy loves me, 100%. Those should all be going down. They're just trying to have somebody who's not powerful. Why 
had so many votes. You definitely need to die. Cressus communication. Invite to court. No. Where are you located? In that guy's court. Well, that was a poor choice. I thought I might be able to get him. But he's fled. Okay, new spy master. You can go ahead and scheme in the capital, maybe. I guess I'm alright with that. I really need to sort this out though. So he's down to five. Maybe we can marry you into Italy or something. Uh oh, I'm sorry, son. Being kind is not the end of the world. So the power goes up. Can we convince anyone? No. Marry my bastard daughter, that's fine. So we're fairly threatening. 5.4. Actually, that's nothing. East Francia. That would be a truce break. We don't want to waste that. Is he even in the defensive lines against me? He's not. Okay. So we're going to claim that. Go and take it. I'm surprised Poland still exists. I would have thought our viceroys would have taken care of that. Scotland. Moral authority is a hundred, that's pretty good. Open canceling counselor. Nah, he's not fond of me. So, that guy is what? Might as well try to claim the East Francian capital. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem if I could just nominate him myself. But I don't see him in the list. He's there for this, for the Empire, but for the Kingdom itself. So I go to nominate in the Kingdom. 
I don't see him in there. So I was hoping to invite him to court or something. Maybe we can defeat him with Prince Radoslav? We gotta go King of Ireland. That's the best bet, I think. And then maybe we try to kill this guy. So that'll redistribute a couple votes. It would make me a Kinslayer. Don't care. Uh, plot power. Is anyone willing to shift here? Not really. It's a six in there. Ooh, that was expensive. So we might be able to get that guy dead, which would redistribute some of the votes. Is Poland at war again? Ah, yeah. They just wanted to pay tribute. Siege that down. Just do what we usually do. We quickly take land. Double castle. The other two should fall much quicker. The inheritance is still in question, but I might as well keep waging wars. Kill that army and we should be good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know exactly how I want to go about that. That was worth a surprisingly little amount. I guess we just go attack the capital then. Unmarried heir. Okay. So three to four. Temperate's okay. Go lay siege to the capital. So three to four here. And this old man, he may die before he even becomes a threat. But we'll do no more next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.